It's happening. Signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. World events and conditions are connecting to the biblical prophecies, revealing we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Jesus Christ. We want to give a heartfelt thanks to all of those of you that are supporting this signs of the last day's ministry with your prayers and with your offerings, as together we share the signs of the Lord's nearing appearance. It's because of your support this ministry is able to exist and to continue, and we thank you for that. We now live in the time, the time, when the diverse biblical prophetic signs are reaching a new level, increasingly manifesting in the world. It's hard to keep up. It's just one after the other in rapid fashion, popping all around the world. There's deceptions, wars and commotions, rumors of wars, nation rising against nation. There's pestilence. There's earthquakes. And then there's persecution. There's lawlessness. It's just boom, boom, bam, pow. The signs Jesus said, it's happening. Just like the Bible says, it's for real. Now, what Jesus prophesied would happen before the end will come. And now, with all of these things happening on the earth, also up above us, reports of signs in the heavens are increasing with signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars, which indicates the nearing of the prophecy of Jesus how that Jesus said that the powers of heaven will be shaken. The powers of the heavens will be shaken in the last days. Heaven is giving the alarm to the world with increasing signs in the heavens right now that fearful sights of great calamities, the Bible prophecies foretell, they are beginning to draw near to where there will be, hear this, there will be a prophetic cataclysm in our solar system. Jesus in his prophecies in the Gospels in Matthew 24 and Luke 21 and in his Revelation chapter 6 and 8, the Lord tells how that a biblical cataclysm is coming to our solar system, where he says there will be signs in the heavens with the sun, the moon, the stars, along with distress and perplexity coming to the nations of the earth. And Jesus said it will happen to where the sun will be darkened. Also, the moon will be darkened with the light of the sun and the moon blocked from planet Earth. And he also said that the stars will fall from heaven. Jesus said that our solar system will be impacted until the very powers of the heavens will be shaken with this actual cataclysm that will happen in our solar system. Jesus' revelation in the Holy Bible reveals that in a relative short time, within the first three and a half years of the tribulation of the world during the time of Jacob's trouble, there will be one catastrophic astronomical event, one after another, one after another that will happen in this celestial cataclysm that will affect our planet Earth, where Jesus describes the sun becoming blacked out and the moon turning to the color of blood, and also the stars of heaven will fall to earth in a star storm. You've heard of different kind of storms, but this is going to be a star storm. Jesus describes that there will be so many stars hitting the planet earth so quickly in this star storm of earth that he said it would be like a fig tree dropping its late figs when shaken by a mighty wind. 
with him falling to earth so quickly in such great number, it's just bam, bam, pow, pow, that they will hit the planet earth. The Bible says that they will hit the earth until humanity civilization is shaken with the intensity of the event, driving them into the caves of mountains, trying to protect themselves from the calamities. But then after this astronomical event of the star storm hitting the earth, that is also followed. Like I said, that there's just going to be this inordinate amount of celestial events in our solar system happening one after the other. This is what the prophecy describes in Revelation 6 and Revelation chapter 8 with the seals and with the trumpets. Then after the star storm hitting the earth, then there's a hail and fire storm falling to the earth, mingled with blood on the earth, that actually sets fire to planet earth. The prophecy says that it will burn the planet until a third of the trees are burned up and all the green grass is also burned up. But the prophetic cataclysm in our solar system impacting the earth, it doesn't stop there. For the revelation prophecy of Jesus goes on to describe how that after the star storm and then after the fire storm hitting planet earth, then there comes afterwards a monstrous asteroid. The prophecy says it's the size of a great mountain. And the great mountains of earth, such as Everest and K2, They run in size from 26,000 to 29,000 feet. That's how huge this asteroid will be that will hit the earth. A huge asteroid the size of the great mountains will hit the earth in the sea with its shock wave. It's going to do damage, massive damage on the earth with a shock wave to uh, hitting the earth to where a third of the sea becomes blood, with a third of the living creatures in the earth killed and a third of the ships of the sea will be destroyed. But then after that, another celestial event. There comes, the Bible calls it a great star. A great star will come out of the solar system that the prophecy calls by the name of Wormwood, in another cataclysmic event on planet Earth, where the prophecy describes this great star falling from heaven, burning like a torch. And somehow it falls upon a third of the rivers and on the springs of the fresh water of the earth. And a third of the waters of the earth become poisoned, bitter as wormwood. The prophecy seemingly describing how this great star comes out of the solar system to the earth, burning like a torch where maybe there are gases with minerals in its makeup, and then it strikes the earth, and maybe there's like a fragmentation starburst that rains down poisonous fragments into one-third of the rivers and springs of water, poisoning the fresh water of earth, making it bitterly poisonous to where the prophecy says that many will die. And finally, finally, in the biblical succession of cataclysmic events that will happen in this cataclysm in in our solar system upon the earth, finally, it happens one after another until lastly, all the objects in our solar system in view to planet Earth, are affected at the same time. Where the prophecy says that a third of the sun is blocked. And not only a third of the sun is blocked, but also a third of the moon is dark. And even a third of the stars also go dark. It will be be terrifying. Imagine being on the Earth. And then suddenly at the same time, One-third of the sun is blocked during the day, and one-third of the moon is blocked at night, and one-third of the stars are gone. You can't see them. 
one third of the celestial objects that can be seen from the earth blocked, dark, gone. That will be the last event in this series of cataclysmic events in our solar system that will terrify the inhabitants of the earth. Absolutely terrifying to see all these events one after another in an overall short time frame happening in this cataclysm in our solar system. The Revelation prophecy describes is coming to planet Earth to where at the end, finally, a third of everything just goes dark in the heavens. How will the star storm charge into the Earth? Where will the great mountain asteroid come from into our solar system? It's huge. Where's it going to come from into our solar system? Where is the great star wormwood that comes into our solar system? Where is it? And what will block the sun? What will make the moon and the stars to go dark? Jesus in his prophecies warned that signs will begin to happen in the heavens and that there and that they will be a warning of this prophetic cataclysm that I just described that will come in revelation prophecy that will happen in our solar system the planet earth these signs in the heavens are are indicating that that cataclysmic event is drawing near and the reports of signs in the heavens aren't they increasing have you noticed how they're increasing how there how there's more of them being reported. They're increasing with signs in the heavens, in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. The new comet, first discovered by an amateur stargazer from the Ukraine, that is, zooming in Earth's direction that astronomers believe could be only the second interstellar object ever spotted in our solar system. Because the comet, that they, this new surprise comet that they named C2019Q4, which they think is likely, they say, a couple of miles long. They say it's moving too fast for it to be captured by the sun's gravity, which they say is a sign that it's likely an interstellar object coming into our solar system. And they say it also has an odd hyperbolic orbit. Now notice this. This is important for where we're going. They say it has an odd orbit. They call it a hyperbolic orbit with its shape showing that it's also another sign that it's likely from outside of our solar system. And some are thinking that this comet is from the edge of the solar system and somehow got pushed into a different trajectory, bringing it toward bringing it into our solar system and toward the earth, which that means the comet must have come close enough to an object out there on the edge of our solar system, an object large enough with enough mass and gravity to alter its course. The experts say such as like a large planet. And scientists now, in their research, are now saying that they believe that they have found evidence that this large planet that they say is on the edge of our solar system, that they are calling this planet Planet X. And the scientists in their research and studies now say that it actually exists. And they say that planet X triggers asteroid and comets coming into our solar system. Amazing. Astrophysicists at the University of Louisiana by the names of Whitmire and Matisse first published research on planet X and said that as planet X makes its large orbit of the sun, because It's a large planet, they say, larger than Earth, and it's out way out on the extreme edge of our solar system. So they say it makes a very large orbit around the sun, and that it's a tilted orbit. 
that slowly rotates. And they say this planet X passes through what they call the Kipper Belt of objects which are beyond Neptune. And that planet X knocks, with its mass and its gravity, knocks comets and asteroids into the inner solar system that can then be seen sometimes with scientists' instruments if they pick it up. The scientists are saying in their research that the weird clustering in the orbits of objects beyond Neptune that they have seen is explained, the researchers say, by Planet X, which is so far from the sun, they say, that it's unseen. But they are seeing all the signs of it impacting the space objects that are around it, with all their paths being super elongated, they say, as they all cluster together, drawing together in the same area when they approach the sun. Plus, the scientists say that their orbits are all tilted alike out there in the far reaches of our extreme reaches of our solar system, and that they all pointing in the same general direction as if something big has gravitated them into their places. And the astronomers are saying, Planet X's gravitational power placed these objects in their orbits that they see out there, and that Planet X's gravity could be sending objects hurtling out from that location into our solar system. Listen to this. This this is interesting and amazing. Also, scientists Mike Brown and Constantine Batigan at the California Institute of Technology, also called Caltech, they have described in their study evidence for Planet X, also in their research published in the Astronomical Journey Journal. Also, there's another follow-up study that they published by Batigan and Brown with Fred Adams and Juliet Becker from the University of Michigan. These researchers from Caltech in Michigan say that Planet X's existence is inferred and shown based on the orbital anomalies seen in these objects like I described in the Kipper Belt, which are also called KBO for Kipper Belt Objects, which they say is this disc-shaped region of comets and asteroids and other large bodies beyond Neptune. And if the Caltech researchers' calculations are correct, they calculate planet X is about 10 times the mass of Earth and could currently be up to 1,000 times more distant from the sun. They say that the distant bodies that point to the existence of planet X were also further discovered by a team of astronomers led by Dr. Scott Shepard of the Carnegie Institute for Science, where they have found more evidence. They had these powerful telescopes aimed at portions of the sky for large periods of time, taking exposures of pictures at intervals of a few minutes. But as they were doing this, it generated an enormous amount of data. So the astronomers used computers with algorithms to sift through the data to let the computers, these major strong computers, look for moving objects in the great distance against the backdrop of stars. And when the computer found one to flag it, then the astronomers did follow-up observations to study the data to confirm the findings. And through this method, these scientists discovered two dwarf planets that are the most distant KBO, our space objects in the Kipper Belt, beyond Neptune in the far edge of our solar system, the most distant KBO ever reported. And the scientist, Shepard, said, these distant objects are the breadcrumbs pointing to planet X. This is no conspiracy theory. This is actual scientists and public Research, published research and data that they say the scientists, the astronomers, the astrophysicists say that planet X is there and that it is impacting the heavens 
of the earth. Now the researchers are not saying planet X is going to hit the earth, but the scientists say their research shows that it is there and that planet X with its mass and gravity is pushing, flinging new storms of comets and asteroids and space objects, stars, into our new ones, into our solar system. And it could cause biblical signs in the heavens by its mass or gravity pushing new space objects as comets or asteroids into Earth's orbit that could cause the biblical prophecies as comets like Wormwood and asteroids as great mountains to come and impact the Earth in the fulfillment of Revelation prophecies. And I asked earlier, how will the star storm come that will charge into planet Earth? I asked, where will the great mountain asteroid come from into our solar system? I asked, where is the great star Wormwood? The Bible prophecy says it's a great star. Where is this great star Wormwood that comes into our solar system? What will block the sun? What will make a third of the sun and a third of the moon and a third of the stars be blocked out and go dark at the same time? Could it be that out on the outer fringe of our solar system, waiting right now is Wormwood, waiting right now is the great mountain asteroid, waiting right now is the great star storm? And that when God determines, whew, here they come. We don't know scientifically how it will happen, but it will happen. This biblical cataclysm that will shake civilization to its core, making it flee into the mountains and the caves of the earth. This biblical cataclysm I described from the prophecies, one event after another, it will happen. Scientists are probably just finding the breadcrumbs that are pointing to it. But God will cause it to happen. We don't know scientifically for sure, but however it happens, and by whatever means it happens, it will be through the auspices of the Lord God Almighty as his prophetic word of biblical prophecy will be fulfilled where boom, boom, bam, bam, the meteors and the stars will come. And right now, the reports of signs in the heavens are increasing in the media with signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. They are signaling to you. They are signaling to the world that the biblical cataclysm of the prophetic events is drawing near, which indicates that the, near, that the prophecy of Jesus is nearing. How that the powers, Jesus said, the powers of the heavens will be shaken in the last days. The prophetic signs of the last days are rapidly increasing now as events and conditions are happening in the world, linking up prophetically what the scientists, science is not our God, the Holy Spirit of the Lord God, the one true eternal God and his holy word, that is our God. That is our roadmap. That is our shining light that guides us. But the scientists, they only discover the truths. If they're a true science, if they're true scientists, they only discover the truths. They discover the breadcrumbs that lead to the great and eternal God and his eternal plan and designs of what will happen in this bit of biblical cataclysm that is coming to earth. And these signs that we're seeing in the heavens now, these events and conditions are linking up prophetically to the scriptures. What the scientists and their research are finding is linking up prophetically to the scriptures. 
as the last day's environment of prophecy at the end of this age is drawing near to planet Earth right now. And it's revealing its time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church by being born again spiritually, as Jesus said, into the kingdom of God in John, the third chapter, where he said, you must be born again of the water and of the spirit, or you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And then Jesus authorized his apostles saying, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Only his apostles were authorized to tell how to be saved. And they described how to be born again of the water and of the spirit. In the book of Acts, the Acts of the Apostles, the preaching and teaching of the Apostles in Acts, the second chapter, in Acts 10, in Acts 19, and on and on in the pattern of the truth of salvation of Jesus Christ and his Apostles in the book of the Acts of the Apostles of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this new birth experience prepares those biblically born again into the kingdom of God to be ready to escape this biblical cataclysm that will happen. The wrath of God, the church of Jesus Christ, disappears from the earth at the end of Revelation, the third chapter. And then you look in heaven in Revelation chapter 4 and 5, and there they are as the blood-washed throng out of every tribe, nation, kindred, and people that are worshiping the Lord in heaven. And then in Revelation, the sixth chapter, is the first place in the Revelation prophecy, in the revelation of Jesus Christ to the world, where the wrath of God is first mentioned. The church disappears at the end of Revelation chapter 3, and the wrath appears in Revelation chapter 6, after the church is seen in heaven in Revelation 4 and 5. Be born again now. Don't wait. Be born again now. The signs are increasing in the heavens above us, drawing our attention upward, causing our eyes to look upward toward heaven. Heaven is trying to get our attention. Heaven is trying to get us to look up to God. We must be born again and walk with Jesus Christ now because we are nearing the end of this age of grace. As the wrath of the tribulation of revelation prophecy is nearing upon this world of disobedience. And if any of you need help finding someone to baptize you or pray with you biblically where you are, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the bottom of the website, signsofthelastdays.org. That's dot O-R-G, where you can always get more information about the signs of the last days and be informed for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for being in this live stream as we have watched the signs of the last days prophecies happen. And as we have prayed together to be ready for the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please share this channel. Share its videos and live stream events. Leave comments, positive comments. Click the thumbs up on videos. Amen. Get people to subscribe and click the bell and get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Because by sharing the signs of the last day's prophecies as a last day's church community, we are helping people to be aware that Jesus is coming and to get ready for the appearance of the Lord. Upon the eastern sky.